All right, all right, all right. What's going on, Power People? This is the Power Living with Purpose podcast by David C. Henderson, and this is the Health and Fitness Tip of the Week. All right, this week's tip is sponsored by American Health and Fitness Services. Uh, we bring the fitness center to you, and uh, even during the days, you can still work out, get in shape, prevent uh, the weight loss, prevent the weight gain during the holidays with a personal trainer, personal fitness coach, diet plan, all of that. We have it. Uh, www.americanhealthfit.com, uh, americanhealthfit.com, or you can look us up on Facebook. All right. Now, um, and it, every week these tips are also published in the Tuskegee News. Now, um, the cancer fighting, this week's tip is cancer fighting fruits and vegetables, nature's medicine. All right, every day, our number one goal for your diet, every day, your number one goal should for your diet should not be about trying to just find food that tastes good and makes you full, but rather the goal should actually be putting foods in our body that fight off disease, sickness, obesity, hypertension, cancer, and death, as opposed to constantly eating foods that actually cause those problems. Basically, for the entire existence of human beings on this planet, there have always been two things that every society has known uh, are the primary keys to good health and long life, and those are fruits and vegetables. As for, and for centuries, they have not just been good for you, but they have been and will continue to be the actual cure for cancer and many other diseases. Remember that the hospitals have not hospitals have not existed for the large majority of human history on this planet. Therefore, eating healthy um, has never actually been complicated. If you want to be healthy, it's extremely simple. Eat more fruits and vegetables and exercise. That pretty much sums it up. The rest is just details. Also, if you eat enough fruits and vegetables, it will not only fight off disease, but it will also help fight off hunger and cravings for junk food and fast food all right now for the um, for the vast part of modern dietary educational history we've been taught that calories are calories and regardless of the source even though we know that there are healthy fats versus unhealthy fats healthy carbs versus unhealthy carbs and there's also healthy sugar versus unhealthy sugar all right so um uh, basically, the natural sugar from fruit is much safer for your blood sugar, much safer than even we really believe, because even that that uh, studies are showing that um, uh, it's way is is far safer than we even thought before. And meanwhile, things like high fructose corn syrup are far more dangerous than we could ever imagine. Also, artificial sweeteners have been found to interact with the body similar to sugar, like, like Splenda, just without the calories. But that's why diet and exercise go hand in hand, because exercise helps burn off the negatives and build the positives, such as improved heart health, blood pressure, blood sugar, lower stress levels, better mental health, and better mobility. Now, new research is also showing that health, professional, health professionals have been taught wrong as well about carbohydrates, fats, small meals, uh, lots of small meals, and breakfast being the most important meal of the day, um, and which I will address uh, in my upcoming tips. Believe me, it's very tempting for me to be upset now knowing that everything they taught us as health professionals all the way up to the last couple years has been wrong. Um, however, we have to just understand that that's how it goes as humans because we learn as we go. Nevertheless, as soon as we learn better, then we immediately need to start doing better. For years and years, I thought eating healthy carbohydrates was fine. When I started going low, low carb, I started seeing better results from workouts and just feeling better overall. Um, you know, and then when you think about it scientifically, you're like, yeah, it actually does make sense. And they taught us wrong. So, but when it comes to the best fruits to eat, just like vegetables, anything is better than nothing because they all have health benefits. However, these are the most powerful ones and unfortunately, they're not always, uh, the most powerful ones are not always easily found in the grocery stores or superstores in the United States other than capsules, powders, or teas while uh, some health stores do carry them. Um, now, the most powerful ones are actually soursop, 
a goji berry, a kai berry, mangosteen, gardenia fruit, dragon fruit, and camu camu. Now, you may see some dragon fruit somewhere. But, like I said, most of those aren't typically grown or sold in the United States outside of, like, health stores, you know. So, I'll just focus on the basic top 10 that you can find at most grocery stores. Keep in mind, frozen food is okay. It, it Frozen is okay. And canned is better than nothing, but fresh is always best. All right. Now, those top 10 are as follows. Number one, blueberries. Number two, raspberries. Number three, strawberries. Number four, blackberries. Number five, cherries, which are also a natural pain painkiller. Six, pineapple, which also reduces inflammation. Uh, seven, coconut, which is also good for your brain. Um, and metabolism. Uh, number eight, I put grapes and muscadines together. I classify them together. Number nine, pomegranates. And number 10 is the entire melon family. So that covers watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe, mango, and papaya. They're all melon in the melon family. All right. Now, since fresh fruit doesn't normally occur, does, doesn't only come with nutrition facts unless it comes in a bag or container with them listed on there, try not to eat more than two servings of fruit at one time. Because even though it's natural sugar, you still don't want to overload on it. You know, give your body a chance to process it. So uh, if you're going to have a third serving of fruit, just wait a little while. All right, but try to make it your goal to always include some fruit at both breakfast and lunch and always vegetables with both lunch and dinner. I guarantee if you do that, you will feel like a new person before long and your doctor will also see the difference if you're too if you're consistent now let's talk about vegetables all right as for vegetables um the here are the most powerful ones that can help you both prevent cancer and even fight against cancer after it's diagnosed keep in mind that blending them into smoothies juicing or eating these vegetables fresh in salads is far better than cooking them although Cooked vegetables are still far better choices than the typically unhealthy American diet, which consists of mostly bread, meat, sweets, and junk food. So fill your diet with fruits and vegetables, and it will help crowd out the rest of the junk. All right, now, leafy vegetables, I'm not, I'm not a vegetarian. I do advocate for seafood and healthy meats. Um, you know, um, I don't necessarily, I try, I try to go, if I do beef, it's going to be, I try to go grass fed chicken. You know, I try to, I'm kind of staying away, trying to go more gra uh, free range, but um, I try to gravitate more towards the seafood now. Um, so more along the Mediterranean diet is kind of what I like to follow more of. But, um, and uh, leafy, um, now, but we'll talk about protein and all that stuff later. All right, now for vegetables, number one, leafy green vegetables, especially spinach, kale, leeks, bok choy, and lettuce, and any and different versions of lettuce, as well as collard greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, and any other greens. Uh, number two, cruciferous vegetables, such as broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. All of those are classified together. Uh, as cruciferous. Now, number three, bright colored vegetables such as carrots, sweet potatoes, squash, and bell peppers. All right, more color. You want to eat as many colors as you can. Um, so by the end of the day, you you want to have like you know red, blue, green, yellow, orange, purple. You want to have all these different colors in your diet every day. Number four, mushrooms. I'm gonna classify them under vegetables too. Um, even though technically I know, but uh, especially shiitake and mataki. All right. Now, red and purple vegetables, uh, the, that, that family, uh, beets, tomatoes, watermelon, uh, well, beets, tomatoes, um, purple carrots, eggplant, those. So you got your greens, you got your, uh, your, your um, cauliflower, white, you got uh, broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, green, you got the other bright colors, carrots, orange, sweet potatoes, orange, squash, yellow, bell peppers, red, green, and then your mushrooms, and then you got your uh, your beets and your eggplant. All right, and um, basically, oh, and then, okay, number six, garlic and onions, all right, and then number seven, any other type of green vegetable, 
cucumbers, avocados, anything else like that. So keep in mind that in addition to, now notice I didn't say corn because corn is relatively new to the human diet. It's only been around the earth for a couple hundred years when that has been widely distributed and it's probably more harmful than it is helpful. If you ever wonder why your body does not digest corn because human beings have only been eating it for a couple hundred years, our bodies still don't know how to digest corn. That's let you, let you know it's a foreign substance to the human body, even though most everything now is made out of corn, uh, unfortunately. So, all right, um, but keep in mind that in addition to fruits and vegetables, herbs, roots, nuts, seeds, and teas, uh, are, they, are, they, are, they are all powerful in preventing and fighting cancer as well as every other health problem on earth. Basically, when you look at a plate at every meal, if the foods on your plate were grown on a farm, a tree, or a vine, then you're in good shape. If not, then you're letting your defense down against cancer. And we all know cancer does not fight fair. So it's a, that's a very dangerous way to live. And also, if you're smoking and drinking, every day you got to know it's enough information that you know you should know by now that is guaranteed to kill you 20 30 years sooner than everyone else who doesn't smoke and drink every day so uh someone who doesn't smoke period or doesn't drink every day all right so vegetables are your best ally in the fight for cancer fruits come in at a, at a second but do your life and your family a huge favor and don't eat ever eat a meal without fruit or, or vegetables and as always have a healthy and blessed week stay powerful my friends